Oh, hey, Lana. Lana? Your hair looks amazing! Pink is so your color. Yep, that's some real rocker chick hair. Way to go, Lana. Wow, why am I suddenly hating my boring brown hair? Ew. I got you, girl! Check out this super easy hair hack. Just spray some color on a brush, and boom! You're in for an exciting color explosion. Brace yourself, Lily. Here it comes. Whoa! Your hair's turning blue before our very eyes! Welcome to the fabulous hair club, Lily. Ugh, I gotta find a place to put all these clothes away. Let's just open my closet here. There we go. Uh, there is not much room in there for much else. Well, I guess that's one way to put your clothes away. Come on, just close already! Uh, Bella? You may want to move. Incoming! Ooh, that had to hurt. And now you have a clothing avalanche coming your way! Okay, I definitely have to find a better system here. And I know exactly what to do. For this hack, you'll need a big slab of wood and a toy dinosaur like this one. With a blade, cut the toy right down the middle. Ouch! Just kidding. Separate the halves and put the bottom half aside. With a hot glue gun, put glue along the edge you just cut on the front end of the dino. Before it dries, press it against the wood on the far left side. Now you can add some more dino friends to the plank. Aw, aren't they cute? Hang this thing in any room and use it as a rack for your clothes, purses, or whatever you like. So now, when you run out of room to hang your clothes in the closet, don't stress. Because now you have other options. Like these little dinosaur helpers. See? Look how easy that is. And now you have a less dangerous closet situation. Right, Bella? Nothing's worse than going about your day and stepping on a random Lego. Ooh, that looked pretty bad. If only there was something useful we could do with these darn things. Aw, we feel your pain, Bella. Whoa, what's that? Are we having an earthquake? Or did Bella accidentally step on one of my Legos again? That's it! This torture ends today! Let me think. What on earth can I do with these things? Hey, that soap could work. Something tells me things are about to get really crafty. Unscrew a bottle of clear liquid soap. Carefully place some Legos inside using tweezers. Feel free to use different shapes and configure them any way you'd like. It's starting to look pretty interesting, right? When you're done, you'll have a fun little scene right there in your soap dispenser. Once you're finished, screw the cap back on and enjoy your masterpiece. See? Bella turned a bad situation into a great-looking one. There you go! Hey, Kevin! Notice anything different in here? Huh? What's going on with the soap? Holy cow! That looks so awesome! How'd they all even get in there? Well, hopefully Kevin wasn't playing with these because they're gonna be covered in soap from now on. Ladies, what you up to? Wait a second, isn't it cleaning day? Well, technically you guys are cleaning, right? All right, time to buckle down and study for that test next week. Twenty minutes? Ugh, I totally forgot I made plans with Sophia! Step number one, shower. Hey, no peeking. Why isn't any water coming out? Look at all that mineral buildup. So gross. Now what am I gonna do? Hey, didn't Mrs. Appleby talk about vinegar working as a cleaning agent in chemistry class last week? Yep, she poured the vinegar into that beaker of… well, something. And it bubbled and stuff. Think that'll work today? To get rid of crusty calcium buildup on your shower head or faucet, just pour a plastic bag full with vinegar and secure it in place with some rubber bands. See? It's working already. After just five minutes, your shower head should be working as good as new. Ta-da! <sighs> Nothing like a hot shower, am I right? 
Don't be too long, though. You've got plans, remember? Hey, Lana. Having some trouble there? Okay, are these trick laces or something? Why can't I tie these darn things? Whoa, that's one crazy knot you have there. Who taught you how to tie your shoes? Oops, better tie mine too. Whoa, look at that fancy finger work! Can you show us how it's done, Vicky? Simply take the strings in your pinkies, twist them around your pointer and thumb, pull, and bam! You're done! See, that's the thing about fashion hacks. Don't worry, Lana. We've got a whole bunch of new DIY tricks coming right at ya. Wow, Lana. You look extra spiffy this afternoon. Waiting for your lunch date, huh? Oh, hey! I'm over here! Hey, girl! Nice to see you! Aw, and you brought the pup. He's so cute. Ugh, I just can't get over how handsome your dog is. And his little shirt is adorable. Can he come say hi? Hi, good boy! Aw, you're so cute. Yes, you are. You're the cutest boy in the world. Yes, you are. Um, Lana? You may want to put the dog down. Hey, what's that foul smell? Oh my gosh, he literally peed all down my shirt! This is so disgusting! Lana, I'm so sorry. He's never done that before, I swear! Lana, you'd better go to the bathroom and wash that off before the other patrons start to smell you. Ick! What on earth can I do to fix this? Ugh, I stink! Hey, maybe I can turn this scarf into something more useful. To make a quick shirt out of a scarf, tie two of its corners together in a double knot like this. Then twist it around and put your head through the hole you've made. Now use the extra material to cover up the front of your shirt. Don't forget to pull the rest of your hair out! Wow, Lana. This thing looks better as a cover-up than a scarf. Okay. Where were we? Wow. How'd you make that so quickly? And how can I get my hands on one? I guess I can let you in on my secret. One day. Ooh. Looks like we're partying tonight. And with parties comes having fun and chatting with your friends. But word to the wise. Don't take a sip of soda before your friend gives the punchline to her joke. Oh my gosh, Vicky, I'm so sorry! It's all good! I'm just, uh, gonna run to the bathroom real quick. If you're ever the victim of an embarrassing spill at a party, don't freak out. Just think outside of the box. If you happen to have on pants similar to these, simply take your shoes off and place both of your legs into one of the pant holes. Be careful not to fall. Now pull the waist all the way up, covering your chest. What about the remaining leg, you ask? Simply put your arm through it, and voila! You're rocking a fabulous asymmetrical look. Yep, no one's gonna remember your unfortunate spill once you walk out in this number. Whoa, did you go shopping back there? You look amazing! Wait a sec. Were those your pants? It'll be our little secret. Well, let's raise a glass to happy accidents, shall we? Cheers! Who left this sharp bobby pin on the couch like this? Ooh, that had to hurt. Ooh! Something just stabbed me right in the foot! I see you, you little sucker! Ow! Okay, I have a few short minutes to get myself together before class. Ooh, can't forget these! Ooh, I can use a little makeup touch-up. These lashes need some help. Let's see if my mascara's in here. Hmm. Where is it? Yikes! Another evil bobby pin strikes again! Are these things conspiring against me or something? If you're a girl, there's no doubt you understand the plight of stray bobby pins. Seriously. Empty any purse or backpack and you're likely to find an arsenal of bobby pins you'd completely forgotten about. See? Case in point. If only there was a way to keep them all together instead of just throwing them around everywhere. Ooh, I forgot I had Tic Tacs. Wait a minute. I think I have a solution to my bobby pin debacle. Before you throw away an old mint dispenser like this one, consider repurposing it into a pin holder. Simply put those bad boys in there and you're all set. You can even bedazzle it while you're at it. Why not? Now whenever you need a quick pin, it'll be in here, 
not in the sole of your foot. Super cute, Lana. Okay, now I really need to get to class. But not without this handy little guy. Ain't she gorgeous?